All right, just finished the video um, of the shoe and um, I'll kind of go over the betting strategy a little bit um, and show you a screenshot or an image of a shoe, uh, actual shoe from a, from a casino, the one that I used to work at. And yeah, so I'm excited to get this started. A little bit of, the, here's a little bit of the uh, setup here. Right by my bed. <laughs> um, yeah, I love this desk. We're gonna go ahead and drop it back down. I was standing up while doing this video, but we're gonna drop it back down. Nice little sweet chair and uh, do some editing, get this thing posted. Stay tuned guys. All right, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while, um, but uh, I've been getting a little bit of feedback. Uh, not too many, only got like 320 subscribers. We're trying to get to that thousand so we can actually do like a live recording or a live stream on YouTube. I mean, I, I think I can do it on Twitch, but I just don't have enough followers or, or, or subscribers to like really try to be like, hey guys, come watch me on, on Twitch. Um, if you're interested, then leave a comment. But um, for right now, I'm gonna try to shoot for uh, just trying to gain more subscribers so I can get to that thousand. Um, as I believe once I get a thousand, I can get, uh, I can start doing those live video recordings for you guys. Um, that way when I deal it out, you can see that like nothing's rigged, nothing's pre set. I mean, if you think that, that, you know, that I'm bullshitting this whole strategy, you know, no reason to keep watching. But, uh, if you have watched some of those other videos and you're aware of the, uh, of the strategy already and how it works, you know, when the uh, blue hits, then a tie right after, um, can you see this cursor? So blue hits, then a tie right after. Uh, then we would bet 10 hands on Panda. Um, I always say scale it to your bankroll. If you have a bankroll set for the game, for poker, for um, for any any gambling game that you like to play, um, scale it to what you want. Bet $5, bet $10. I uh, base the strategy off of just a $25 bet, I mean, but it's not just stuck with that. You don't have to bet that much. Um, I did a... I did a recording just a few hours ago, and I don't know what I did with the mic, but I hit it, and nothing got picked up as far as audio goes. But anyway, we're going to try this again. So I'm not going to make that intro, or this intro, as long as that other one was. It was about five minutes. We're going to jump right into it. Um, so, as like I said, I've been getting a lot of feedback with people saying, like, oh, does it work? Does it not work? Or I've seen shoes where it doesn't work. It works. Here's here's a shoe right here, taking picture screenshot. So that's a little off, kind of, as far as the, uh, you know, horizontally or whatever the heck um i took this picture of a scoreboard at the casino i recently worked at um and same thing i used to stare at those boards all day on my breaks and i worked in the morning too so i had a lot of breaks um it was pretty slow in the morning but uh so anyways let's get into it so right here we're gonna use the calculator to kind of show you exactly what i mean when i talk about like our betting and how much we're getting stuck we're not going to increase the bet we're not going to lower the bet we're just going to like once again scale it to our bankroll um Excuse me. Um, so here we go. So the blue hit, we'll disregard this panda right here. Oops, we missed it. Oops, we missed it. Probably wouldn't have bet those um, just because there's no condition met earlier. But the blue right here, then tie, means we're going to bet 10 hands. So if we see the next 10 hands, there's no panda. So if we were to times, obviously, 25 times 10, that's two, we're stuck 250. So then we fast forward over here, the blue and then the tie condition was met again. Boom, we hit it. So, we just won, what's 25 times 25? 625. Once again, scale it how you want. $10, 15 bucks, 20 bucks, 5 bucks. Whatever your minimum or maximum is, maximum at your casino that you're playing at, uh, that's allowed. As well as, once again, whatever your bankroll allows you to, to bet. Whatever you're comfortable with. Gamble responsibly. Remember that. Um, so, right there we hit it. That was our first hand. Second, third, fourth, fifth hand. So we lost these three bets. So let's see. That negative should be should be what we're up. So we'll plus the 25 or the 75 because we lost those three hands. So we're only up 300. And then uh, what do you know? We hit it again for another 625. So we'll minus 625 again. Then we'll go one since that was the front one, two, three, four, fifth hand. We're going to bet five more hands and you can see we didn't hit it. So, we didn't hit it 5 times 25 is 125. So, as you can see, at most, we were in this shoe, we were stuck 250. But with patience and discipline and obviously using a strategy, like a, you know, 
uh, a strategy that I believe works. If you're thinking that you're going to beat the game with any strategy on any game at the casino, you have to understand that casinos were built off the losers. They're not built on winners. If there was a winner consistently, constantly, with an unlimited bankroll, they would most likely lose money on a consistent basis. If you understand that, then you know that you have to still get lucky. Once again, kind of my rebuttal to the person uh, commenting saying that he watched multiple shoes with zero pandas. Yeah, I've seen it too. I've watched multiple shoes with zero pandas that all had this condition met. You can call it a bad shoe. You can call it a missed shoe. You can call it, hey, what I like to do, do too, demonstrate, and I try to explain this to people at work and I confuse the hell out of them, but I'd say, hey, look, let's say I walked up in, walked into the casino and then all these hands were already dealt all the way up to, what is this? The last hand was, the last panda was 56, that's 55, 54, 53, 52. So let's say I walked in and bam, a blue hits. Now I'm staring at the board. I'm looking at the thing. I'm waiting to bet. Boom, the blue tie hits. Oh, okay, cool. Now let's let's bet. I already missed this, right? So I saved my 250 from this. I already missed that opportunity. I wasn't even in the casino for that. But let's just say that you came into the casino and it was right here. So you missed that first one. There's a second, third. So now you only have to bet seven more hands. Seven times 25. You only have to bet seven more hands to fulfill that. Because I've, I've same thing applies. Like I've been in a casino where nine hands were already done. And I looked at the board. I was like, oh man, it's the 10th hand. I should bet. Nah, I don't want to bet. I've uh, had my own personal. Stop it, Dwayne. It's my cat. I have my own uh, personal experiences with. Um, you know, my own money management, uh, credit card debt and this and that. So I kind of strayed away or stayed away from, uh, from betting and gambling as of late, but I love this game and I love to gamble. I love to play poker and Baccarat. So, uh, basically once I get some things rolling again, I, I definitely, hopefully it lines up with the thousand subscribers so I can actually take it to a casino, maybe get their permission. Maybe at the, the recent casino I was working at, maybe they'll let me do it. It was crazy when I got hired at that casino last year, how many people love to play Baccarat. We had like four or five tables and how many people were like, oh, I was like, have you heard, uh, have you tried this strategy? They're like, oh, I've, damn, the green screen. They're all, I've heard it. I've seen that strategy. I saw it on YouTube. Oh man, I, I've looked up every strategy and, I'm, and I was, he's all, something about 10 hands. I go, that's funny. I believe I'm the only one that's posted it. I should be, unless somebody's just jocking me out there, straight jocking, copying my shit. But uh, anyway, let's get back to the, uh, Let's get back to the uh, shoe here. Is that hopefully, like I said, my bankroll is built up. Uh, the thousand subscri the subscribers are built up, and then I can actually show you know some live recordings of me dealing the shoe um, and live in the casino testing out the strategy. Um, so real quick, let's see. I don't know where are we at here. Why is it doing that now? Why is it a weird cursor now? Hello. Uh. What? Hello? <laughs> okay, there we go. So, that shoe alone, profit at 800, betting 25. You know. Here's another shoe right here. Let me get the, uh, let me get the, um, calculator out of the way. So, we'll delete that, those winnings. Adjust this right here. Thanks for sticking with me if you've watched this far. Sorry I've taken so long to post. I want I had a better idea for this whole thing where like the green screen I'd be like, hey, here's the weather channel. No, but like here here's this dot. See, that's pretty hard. One, two, see, that's pretty hard. Um so I decided to use the cursor just instead. But let's take it from the top on this one too, right? So using the cursor, there's our blue. Happened right in the beginning. You're like, oh damn, this shoe, this must be hot. You bet your ten hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then the blue tie hits again. So here's your ninth hand, because you would have bet that. So then but we restart we restart the count. So nine times twenty-five, we're stuck for two twenty-five. As you can see, the next ten hands didn't hit it. So we'll add two fifty. We're stuck four seventy-five. So right here, we starts again. Once again, patience, discipline yourself. Um, have a controlled betting strategy, not something all over the place, not something where you're like, dang, I missed the bonus. Let me let me uh, let me bet two hundred on the on the base bet and try to get that money back. I've been there, I've done it, and that's how I've like maximized my losses. I'd like to think that this minimizes your losses when you're sticking to a controlled batting strategy. Um, so right here, blue, tie, bam, smacked it on the first hit. That's one bet. Two, three, four, and it happened again where we're going to chain it. So let's just take it from the top so we don't get confused. First, first of the 10, we hit it for 625. God damn it. Excuse me. 
excuse me, sorry, sorry for using the Lord's name in vain. Um, so boom, we're up 150. Lose, lose, lose. We're only up 75, but we're going to restart our 10 count right here, right? Bam, hit it again on the first of these 10. So minus 625, am I doing that right? Okay, so we're up 700 now, right? After being stuck 475, now we're up 700. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eight, nine, ten hands. So let's count those up. One, well, I guess nine, obviously. So what's nine times 25? Eight, two, 225. So plus two, two, five. So now we're only up 475. Okay. Go over here again. Boom, 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 boom. Blue tie. Oh, what do you know? So one, two. So we'll plus the 50 because we just lost $50 on those two bets. But we're restarting the 10 count, right? One, two. We count to 10, but we're restarting it because it did it again. Chain. We call it a chain. I've explained this in the videos prior, um, and you can watch those if you want to. Once again, a reiteration on the, on the strategy itself. So we're starting over. So one, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven, eight. Lost two hundred. Boom. Nine, ten. Lost another twenty-five. But we hit this panda right here. Bam. So let's minus six twenty-five. We're up eight twenty-five. And you can see it happened again. If we played this whole shoe out, we would have had action almost the whole shoe, right? A lot of action in the shoe. But once again, you were only stuck four seventy-five at at max until we started whoops what was that 825 is anyone i have to go back and check it out but uh right here obviously you can see two four six eight ten we uh lost 250 right there trying it again um if you weren't happy with the eight was it 875 850 so we were only up 625 so but with those two separate shoes if it was in the same day you're up 1400 14 something right um, that's my point is that like same thing applies. Let's say you come into the casino, you see this, you see all this happen. You're like, oh man, I, m I missed the, the juicy part of those losses. But let's say you came in like right here and you're like, dang, it worked there. And now it worked here. So you start betting your 10 hands. You're, you're down a couple, you know, 150, 200. Boom. You see it happen again. And then bang, boom, you're up. You, maybe you're only up a couple, a couple hundred after this one, after those, you know, those losses. But that's my, that's my, uh, my theory on it is that like, you know, for, for me, for instance, when I used to be on my breaks at my first casino job that I worked at, when I first started betting this, when I started seeing it, I was like, oh, shoot, blue tie runs. Um, let me just bet a panda. The, just one or two hands, I'd bet it. If I lost, okay, cool. I lost, you know, five times two bucks or two, ten bucks, fifteen bucks here and there. Um, but when I started seeing it happen more, I mean, here's a quick story. Um, there was two tables. They're kind of side to side. And so there's people playing. Um, I can't even show you on this. Uh, there's people playing over here, people playing over there. So I'm looking at this table, and I'm all, and uh, I look over there back at that table, and I go, oh, damn, it looks like a panda, right? Just based on looking at the blue ties. Boom, panda hits. All the people on that table, they look at me, they're all, oh, damn. How come you didn't bet it, right? How come you didn't bet? I'm all, oh, my bad. I was staring at this other table. So then I look back at that table, I go, looks like back-to-back -back panda. Why did I say back-to-back -back panda? Pure, pure guess, pure luck, but... The, the strategy applied, right? The strategy applied to where this panda hit or something, or I'm sorry, like say, let's say this panda hit, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm betting this panda and I'm betting the panda for the next 10 hands, right? So when it, that panda came and oh, everybody turned and looked at me and they were like, oh my God, who is this guy? And <laughs> I felt really good, even though despite it being a, you know, lucky call, whatever, whatever you want to call it, but still based on that's how I started developing the strategy so where like like I said you can you can take it or leave it you can try it or not you can have fun with it I I, I had fun with it um and when someone you know recently commented hey, hey uh do you have a strategy for the dragon I was all uh not yet <laughs> but uh, I couldn't just shit that out because like and I didn't didn't just shit this one out I used to see it all the time I'd stare at the boards they'd have TVs here 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 for all the poker players to look at and be like oh man dragon's coming so they'd all rush to the to the um you know dragon line you know bonus line they'd all rush to the baccarat table to play so it allowed the other players playing different games to see those baccarat tables even if they weren't in the vicinity of the baccarat table itself so really fun, really cool Got, allowed me as a dealer you know on dead spreads I don't know if you know what a dead spread is nobody's at your table um and so you're just kind of standing there. You usually keep your head forward. You don't look left or right. So TV right in front of me, I'd look at that. TV over here, I'd look at that. Um, and I'd watch that board the whole dang 
you know, 40 minutes that I would do. So, you know, um, I get to see the strategy in action a lot or I get to see it work a lot. Don't get me wrong. I'd be like, oh, man, one, two, three. But I'd always be like, hey, check it out. What you? And I pointed it out to so many of my coworkers that they started pointing it out to me being like, hey, Vince, look at the look at your strategy or your uh, 10 hands, blah, blah, blah. And I was all, see. So I just wanted to, sorry this video lasted this long. If you're still with me, thanks. Please subscribe, hit the bell. I'm going to be posting a lot more like this. Well, I'd like to say a lot more, but I'm going to be posting like one video every six months. But I'm, I was only able to take a few pictures of some good shoes. I have a shoe of a bad shoe where it didn't work, and I'll, I'll be happy to demonstrate that because, like I said, if you're thinking that you're going to beat the game, if this was a developed strategy to beat the game, one, I'd probably be dead. Two, they would take the game out of the casino. Why? Because no casino wants to lose money. Heck, I've been in, I've seen and heard about situations where someone's won so much money that the casino asked them to stop playing. Said, hey, sorry, you know, stop playing. Uh, whether And then, I mean, this is probably more of an opinion, but I do believe uh, when they see someone running hot, especially, uh, you know, at a, you know, a bigger casino, they want, they're, which is very strict, very protective of their money. Um, they're they're going to say, hey, uh, uh, that other table is open. We're going to go ahead and change the cards on this one. We're going to, or we're doing a, uh, a chip. They, they, they fill the trays so they do all this they bring in the chips basically they close down the table <laughs> um, not to mention obviously the rotation of dealers makes it to where you're burning a card in bakara there is no card burned that's why they do that oh they think okay after the shoe we're gonna go ahead and you know blah 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 we're gonna we'll open up this table or we'll uh we're gonna you know just to just to stop the player get him out of his groove whatever maybe he leaves like I said, that may be opinion, but I'm almost positive that they do that. So uh, I don't want to fill any more of this video with just chitter chatter. Um, but thank you for watching. Like I said, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to that thousand so we can start doing live videos. And you can see a little more of the integrity of the strategy of like when I deal it at home. Because uh, the eight decks that I'm using and the, of the each 52 cards, they're the same as the cards that they're using in the casino. So when people ask me like, oh, you know, uh, try it out the casino. <laughs> it's the same thing. It's working here just because I don't have a button to click that says, oh, a spinning circle of a dragon or a panda, you know. Um, that doesn't mean that the strategy and the, the fact that the shuffle is the same. Well, I mean, they're using a shuffle master or whatever. But either way, I just wanted to give you a good look at what you could get stuck in because there's been plenty of worse shoes where I think I was stuck like almost 2000 doing the $25 bet because it changed so much. But then at the end of the shoe, hit one, two, three pandas. And then boom, we're up or we're, we're breaking even or we're only stuck 100. So um, like I said, I feel like it minimizes your losses and you're able to maximize your wins while maximizing your enjoyment and fun in the game, in the casino, you know. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, we're going to be, uh, I'll, I'll probably be posting another one next weekend. Um, kind of same same idea, same little calculations here with the, with the uh, calculator and same background image so you can get to get to see a different shoe um i'm gonna get into the tie line theory if you've watched that video i'm gonna get into that little theory oh i love it um it's actually another like i said another one of those fun ones when you when you uh think about how i devise the strategy because oh my god it's, it did the same thing where i come up i bet tie i'm the only one that bet tie dragon panda doesn't hit and the dealer just scoops all the bonus bets and i go yo i'm all can you call the floor i just bet the tie she goes no you didn't i'm all yeah i did it's just that nobody likes the tie i don't understand it the tie pays one to eight to one or nine to one well eight to one and in, in, in easy box but people won't bet that, but they'll play Ultimate Texas Hold'em and hope for that full house to hit, <laughs> which pays 8-1. to one. And I'm like, okay, I don't understand you guys. Uh, but anyway, we'll get into the tie line theory later uh, after I post a few more uh, demonstrations of these actual scoreboards that I have took a picture at at the casino. Once again, just want you guys to know that like this is what I'm seeing at a casino from a real, sh real dealer, real table. Um, yeah, so once again, thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe. I'll see you next time. Uh, what's up? One quick little last thing. Uh, go ahead and click on any of the thumbnails to take you to some of the previous videos I've posted. Um, and those will kind of, like I said, reiterate the uh, strategy for you and give you a better idea. Um, and they do show some examples on the different videos. Uh, me doing the strategy on a phone app, like a Baccarat phone app. Um, me doing it, uh, like I said, on a live shoe feeling with eight decks. Uh, but yeah, click on the links. Thanks, guys.